TikTok trends seem to emerge every so often, keeping the hype of the platform going. Whether it's a dance trend or a new fitness craze, something new is constantly going viral. Why? In order to become the next TikTok star, the foodie side of TikTok is no exception. Loaded in there on its side. Experts are appalled. What are you doing? People's health could be put to risk. Some are even downright disgusting. Can we trust TikTok to guide us to delicious and safe trends? The cooking community on TikTok is vast, with so many interesting ideas and hacks, like turning fast food gourmet, tips for college struggle meals, easy meals when you're in a time crunch, and so much more. But there's a strange side to the food world. Introducing TikToker, it's me, Juliet. She's made many viral videos due to her unusual cooking methods. 1.1 million views for cooking hamburgers on an iron. 1 million views for bacon and eggs on a hair straightener. 1.3 million views for cooking hot dogs in the washing machine. But her most notorious meal involved an item that many chefs take pride in cooking perfect, steak. Receiving 15.9 million views, Juliet shocked viewers by cooking steak in a toaster. While the meat appeared successfully cooked, people were not so impressed. I feel sorry for your boyfriend. Five minute crafts in real life. This is illegal. Many people called one of the UK's best loved chefs, Gordon Ramsay, for help. And without disappointment, Gordon spoke up referencing his popular idiot sandwich phrase. What are you doing? Toast is for bread, and right now if I had two slices, I'd stick them on your ears, you idiot. And now you gotta cover it in sauce. Really? Surely, Juliet wasn't eating like this in her offline life, right? Juliet told Insider her interest in cooking started as a child when she had an Easy Bake Oven. But she became really crafty in college when the only heating tools she had were a coffee maker, toaster, and hair straightener. My boyfriend wanted steak for dinner, so I popped the steak in the toaster. I was surprised that it actually worked, she said. And while some viewers believe the cooking was faked, Juliet told Insider, it's 100% real. I would recommend that more people cook with their toaster. Juliet wouldn't be the only one who made this recommendation. In 2017, YouTubers Rhett and Link also had stunning results after four rounds in the toaster at the highest setting. You're gonna get medium rare. There's yours. And there's yours. Show them what that looks like. Mm. Get a nice little cross section in that thing. And the taste test seemed promising. That's nice. That's, pretty... That's even better than the last one. Who needs a grill? Who needs bread? But a real steak enthusiast would know how unsatisfying this meal would be. Michelin star chef Brad Carter told Insider, Contact is the best for the steak for the crust. Obviously, salt is going to fall off into the toaster. There's a reason a toaster was designed the way it is, and it's definitely not to lose steak juice in the bottom. But what if immaculate taste doesn't bother you? Wouldn't this be the best time saver? What could possibly go wrong? Well, it could be life-threatening. Anytime you cook with a heat source, especially a toaster, there are safety risks. A New Zealand man found out the hard way after he left a steak cooking in a toaster while he went to the store to buy hot chips. The steak went ablaze and caused severe fire damage to his home. There was so much damage, he didn't believe his insurance payment of $418,000 would be sufficient to repair the house. Juliet's steak and toaster hack also caught the attention of the London Fire Brigade, where they released a statement for Electrical Safety Week. We're reminding people to only use electrical products for their designated use. Don't cook steaks in a toaster. Even with the warnings, people continued sharing toaster hacks, toaster chips, toaster fish fillets, toaster shrimp, and toaster Philly cheese steak. One particular hack that gained traction was toaster grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay, so we've seen this on TikTok, and we're gonna try to get our grilled cheese to grill cheese in the toaster. Dubbed the easiest way to make the sandwich. Load it in there on its side, and then I'm going to push this down. Pop the lever and catch your bread. Lol. 10 out of 10, it's bussin'. But similarly to the toaster steak hack, the fire risk is still there. Back in 2015, Suzanne Dale tried this hack after seeing a Facebook post about it, but her toaster burst into flames. She had to pull the plug and get the toaster out of her home. Suzanne warned others, do not try this at home. But the warning didn't reach everyone, so the fires continued to happen. Oh, fire! Fire! There's fire! That's a lot of fire. <laughs> While there doesn't seem to be a faster and easier way to cook steak, you may not have to give up the toaster grilled cheese idea completely. TikToker Jennifer Valentine found a safe option. Option. Now I got these really cool grilled cheese bags at the grocery store and now we wait 
three minutes. It looks pretty good. Toaster food isn't the only quick way to prepare a meal. Don't forget the microwave. And what interesting microwave hack has gone viral on TikTok? Thanksgiving turkey. A viral trend was going around of adults asking their parents, how long does it take to microwave a 25-pound turkey? Most parents were appalled by the idea. There is no way to microwave a turkey, let alone a 25-pound one. I don't know, but the turkey isn't the only thing getting baked this Thanksgiving. Please tell me you're kidding. Those were the normal reactions, considering it can take anywhere from 2 to 5 hours to cook in an oven, depending on the size. Not only is the cooking time long, but the prep time as well. From thawing, seasoning, and preparing the oven, cooking a turkey is tedious. So young people have found a way to work smarter, not harder. One thing y'all may not have known is you can microwave a turkey. Seriously, throw it in the microwave and baste it. Take it out every couple hours until it's done, you know? Seriously, it even tastes pretty good. Another person put it in the plastic bag and microwaved it for 60 minutes. The turkeys may look cooked, but are they safe to eat? Surprisingly, the USDA approves of microwaving turkeys. Still, there are a number of precautions that need to be taken. Because of the size of microwaves, most can only handle a small turkey that's around 8 to 10 pounds. And your microwave manual should indicate whether it can handle a turkey or not. Once the turkey is dried and seasoned, it needs to go into a microwave bag or be saran wrapped to help ensure it cooks thoroughly. It should be cooked for 10 minutes per pound at 50% power, rotating at least every 15 minutes, meaning it could take around two hours to cook a turkey in the microwave, depending on its size. And finally, before eating, do one last safety check. Make sure the turkey's internal temperature is at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit and make sure the juices run clear, not pink when carved into. Sounds pretty easy, right? So why doesn't everyone cook this way? Well, unlike oven turkey, the skin of microwave turkey won't crisp, and the drippings will be messy. There's also the risk that the turkey won't cook evenly. Still, if you're up for the adventure, you'll be comforted to know that microwaving turkey isn't totally new. One parent referenced an 1862 book called Let's Cook Microwave and shared pages on how to microwave roast turkey. And if your friends and family are too stunned to help, you can reach out to Butterball's official turkey talk line at 1-800-BUTTERBALL. Sometimes TikTok is home to fun food trends like microwaving turkey, but other times it creates some dangerous ones. TikToker Rob Flo would never guess his strange food concoction would go viral. What was this blue liquid that Rob doused his chicken with? Sometimes this steam really makes you sleepy. What you're looking for is that blue color right there. Why was it making him sleepy? My wife got sick last night, so I'm cooking up some NyQuil chicken. And before we go any further, please do not cook your chicken this way. We'll explain why in a minute. This medicine chicken concept was first introduced on Twitter in 2017 as a joke, but TikTok has given this a new life theorizing that this recipe could help fight the common cold. And with any silly trend with the potential to go viral, many viewers tried it themselves. It smells like straight cough syrup mixed with vodka. So disgusting. Don't try this. And whether it tasted good or looked fun wouldn't matter when the FDA labeled the trend very unsafe and advised against boiling medication because even inhaling the medication's vapors could hurt your lungs. Medical toxicologist Johnson Arbor also added, when the pan is heated, alcohol and other volatile compounds present in the NyQuil will evaporate, leaving behind a concentrated amount of potentially poisonous NyQuil ingredients. Clinical pharmacist Harini Bott also called attention to the dosage, explaining that although NyQuil is over the counter, it can still be harmful. She added, the dose makes the poison. And if we check NyQuil's FAQ, the recommended dosage for those 12 and older is 30 milliliters every six hours. A standard bottle holds more than 11 times the recommended dosage, so marinating the chicken in the medicine could cause someone to ingest more than the recommended amount and end up losing their life. Clinical pharmacist Dr. Bernard Shu, also known as YouTuber Chubby Emu, commented on the trend, explaining overconsumption could cause multiple organs to fail, ultimately causing one to pass away. A fluid imbalance starts to happen as the brain starts to swell. The liver quickly becomes unable to handle anything because it's completely shut down. Clinical pharmacist Harini Bhatt also spoke about the other dangers related to the cough syrup, explaining that NyQuil is typically a combination of three medical components and called attention to dextromethorphan, she explained this component is a cough suppressant and can cause serotonin syndrome if taken in excess, making it a high risk for people who are on antidepressants. 
To further explain, serotonin syndrome can cause fevers, irregular heartbeat, and even losing consciousness. And with that, TikTok began putting safety warnings on existing videos and limiting search for keywords related to the trend, with a link on how to self-assess a dangerous trend. Stop and take a moment to think about what you've seen, TikTok wrote. And if you really took a look at Rob's viral video, It should be obvious for everyone that this is a joke, right? Four thirds of a bottle, five to 30 minutes? It's a parody. Oh yeah, and that's a hair straightener that he's using instead of kitchen tongs. If it doesn't seem to be a good idea, it probably isn't. But for some trends, it's harder to identify their safety level. Pre-workout powder, the ultimate tool for gym goers to build muscles and lose weight. Typically, it's meant to be diluted with water to create a shake. And if you need additional nutrients or flavor, fruits and veggies can be mixed in. But what if the powder is taken straight? Does it get into your system faster? This bizarre TikTok trend called dry scooping, and this should not be replicated without approval from a health professional. Taking a dry pre-workout scoop because I saw it trending on TikTok. Ending up in the hospital because I had a heart attack. So I had a heart attack, as most of you guys know, from taking this Redcon 1 Total War. And this wasn't the first time it happened. Physician Dr. Farhan also witnessed a troubled patient. I have personally seen a very young individual come to the emergency room after taking pre-workout because they started having a heart arrhythmia or an irregular beat because of the pre-workout. But was the pre-workout powder really to blame? This sparked a heated conversation in the fitness community. Coming from a personal trainer who has been lifting for years, dry scooping for years, I can honestly tell you that I have witnessed so many different people have a huge misconception on what exactly pre-workout is supposed to be for and then also how to use it. In fact, fitness lovers explained it's important to consider your tolerance to caffeine and other stimulants. If you only on average drink about two cups of coffee a day, you are only getting about 100 milligrams of caffeine every day. So you are not someone who should be able to take a 200 milligram scoop of caffeine all at once and then be able to go get your heart rate up. Lastly, you cannot dilute caffeine, it is caffeine. While there can be a choking hazard. There you go, now drink, get water, get water. Oh. The act of dry scooping itself is not necessarily the culprit. Each individual's tolerance of caffeine does play an important part. According to WebMD and Healthline, an average cup of coffee has around 95 milligrams of caffeine, and a scoop of pre-workout powder typically has 150 to 300 milligrams of caffeine, meaning a scoop contains around three times more caffeine than one cup of coffee. Psychologist Dr. Amanda Zaleski explained. And when you ingest caffeine so quickly and that such a large amount can cause very dangerous sudden rises in heart rate, blood pressure. Um, this increases our risk for irregular heartbeats, otherwise known as arrhythmias, all of which increase our risk for an acute cardiovascular event, heart attack, stroke. According to Cleveland Clinic, the reason pre-workout powder is often taken with liquids is to pace your body's absorption of the product. However, doctors still recommend you listen to your body's response when taking pre-workout supplements. Some turn to the gym to lose weight, but many others look for quick fixes. Diet trends have been popular since the dawn of time, and looking for the easy way out hasn't changed. Now there's a new trend in town involving a common breakfast beverage and sour fruit. There is a uh, lemon and coffee uh, craze that's going around on the internet. Coffee lemon for weight loss. First, you'll need a glass or a mug and boiling hot water. This drink is all over social media right now, and it claims to melt belly fat away. Next, you'll need coffee. Any kind of coffee would do. Next, you'll need a lime, or a lemon, lemon or lime. It's supposed to make you lose weight really fast in three days. Drink it in the morning. I already know that it's gonna be nasty, but I'm gonna take one for the team because I really wanna see if it works for me. A number of people online have claimed drinking the concoction has helped the pounds to melt away. All right guys, today's the day we're weighing in. Let's see where we're at. My starting weight was 257.9, and now I am 251.3. I went from 300 pounds to 199 with no exercise. I am 161. I started off at 166. But the supposed magic drink wasn't so magical at all. Some people were seeing the opposite effect. As you can see, before this trend, I was 183. I was going to the gym. I was eating right. I was doing all the things. Now, I did not stop the way that I ate, but I did stop working out because I wanted to see, like, did you have anything to do with just, you know, you being great by yourself? If one plus one is two, and two plus two is four, what the f 
is this? Another TikToker had a negative experience after she had tried the drink for 10 days straight. Started having the worst migraines of my life. And according to the doctors, they don't recommend you do the lemon coffee because you're taking in way too much caffeine for the day. So what was all the craze about? And how were some people losing weight while drinking the lemon coffee blend? Well, like any experiment, there are many factors to consider, like lifestyle. One TikToker who lost eight pounds in three weeks explained she also changed to a healthier lifestyle when trying the trend. I have been eating more fruits, more vegetables. I'm making smoothies now, so I have my plain Greek yogurt in there. And um, yeah, I pretty much just incorporated more fruits and vegetables in my diet. New York City-based registered dietitian Samantha Cassidy explained why people may believe they're losing weight thanks to the drink. Adding lemon to your water makes it taste better, so it can help you stay hydrated. Also, drinking water before a meal can promote satiety, so you may be inclined to eat less. She added that eating less can produce a calorie deficit, which is needed for weight loss. But even adding a glass of water to your meal wouldn't have a big impact on weight. And if you're still inclined to try the drink, you may want to think again. Michelle Roach, a registered dietitian at the Actors Fun Home, explained, Consuming too much of this concoction can actually have adverse effects to one's health. She explained the citric acid from lemon juice could cause tooth damage and could worsen acid reflux. She also added how the high amounts of caffeine can cause headaches, irritability, increased heart rate, and insomnia. Michelle advised people to seek out a professional opinion before trying any health trends. Whether it be the next toaster meal, microwave hack, chicken marinade, workout hack, or weight loss drink, we can't always trust TikTok to guide us to delicious and safe trends.